All right, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, show you my IBM 300 PL personal computer. And I'm going to show you some of the uh, inside details of it. It's one of the nicest handling machines that I've ever worked with before. I mean, in terms of ease of use to open up, uh, replace parts, etc. Most of it is. Um, original but um, I've done my own improvements on it as you're gonna see okay we'll start out with what I have done I've given it a new DVD ROM drive read write I've also given it an extra hard drive so it has two hard drives We'll just leave that panel off for now. Here's your power button. On the back, as you see, you've got uh, three PCI slots. I haven't got any available right now, but I'm going to be taking out the extra Ethernet. And I'm probably going to put on a TV card. IBM even gave you gave an extra set of keys so that you could lock the case prevent anybody from stealing your hardware I guess and this is my XM1541 adapter that's for hooking up my uh, Commodore disk drive there are your two USB ports a mouse keyboard there's the monitor these are the joystick controls, the power, and this is a modem. I may get rid of that to free up another PCI slot since everything is done with Ethernet now. There's the video card, and uh, now we can get, I guess, uh, into the details of opening it up. Now this, folks, is probably one of the easiest things you're ever going to see. No need for a screwdriver, just twist it off like this. I'll put that there for now. These are very nice screws. And this was a very nice design PC. Okay, all you do now is just slide the lid off, just like that. You put it down, and there you go, you are inside the computer. I've had this system since 2004, since my college days, and I've only had one issue with it. A number of years ago, the fan blew out and I replaced it. But this computer was already about five years old when that happened. So this system has got some mileage on it. And there you go, there are your PCI slots. Very easy to move them in or out. Not rocket science. Matter of fact, I may just do a quick demonstration for you. To show you how easy breezy this can be. That is my spare ethernet right there. Just so you know, or just so you folks at home know, when you are handling computer parts, you really should be wearing gloves, and it should be grounded. Anyways, this is a D-Link card. It's a PCI, and there is your PCI slot right there. You could put a TV card in there. You could put any number of things in there. 
I may not bother putting that in now since I did want to leave it empty. One of the drawbacks to this PC is the fact that it is a little bit jumbled, especially when you're when you're dealing with the wires and stuff like that uh, coming from the uh, DVD ROM. And there's the main hard drive. Underneath it, or on top of it, is the floppy. And there's the DVD. And underneath that is the uh, second hard drive that I installed. Perhaps easier to see that from the front. And there it is. And if you look right beyond the cabling, under underneath it, there are two thin strips there. Those are the 500 megs of RAM that I've got installed. I'm wondering if I can uh, beef this thing up and give it even more RAM. I'm not sure though. But I loaded it up as much as I could. I filled just about every slot there was. And this baby is packing. We could do with some more speed though, if possible. Anyways, that's it. That's my uh, description of my computer here. The IBM 300 PL PC. Hope this was informative for you all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.